How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the shows. This is Yume Roscoe and Savage Moses. What it do, Roscoe? What it do, my brother? How you feel, man? Oh, good. Today, man. Today, I got some okay. that's you know controversial right now. I don't know if you familiar with it, but the YNW Melly case. The evidence has been coming out. Shit been flying. It's, it's getting wild now. Because, you know, I don't know what direction they're going to take it in. But if you ain't know where he is getting, where they trying to give him the death penalty, you know, he was a pretty uh, famous rapper. I would say probably, you know, top 10 at the time of, you know, everything happening and this coming out and him getting locked up. But basically it's a double homicide on two people that was in his group you know, best friends, so to say. And it, it's just wild, the whole situation. He was definitely there, but <sighs> proving it, I don't know if they're going to do it, but we're going to see this evidence and, you know, see what direction they're going in. Yeah, no, I, I'm I'm not familiar with this case, even though I've, I've heard in YNW, Melly, you know. I Melly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, the, and the, the the victims is uh Sack Chaser, YNW Sack Chaser, and YNW Joe. Those, those are the victims? Yeah. Oh, wow. So um, so yeah. basically, they was all in the car, him, and I think it's another person in the car, and they trying to, uh, god damn, sirens. No, that, that means invisible shots. They must know what we're talking about. Right, 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 right. Invisible shots, man. Yeah. 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 But they, they was all, all four of them was in the car or something, and then they trying to say what well, the evidence is pointing to that the car was parked and they got out, shot up the car, it would kill them. Well, that's what they're trying to prove. Allegedly killed them, got back in the car, drove to the hospital and dropped them off. Okay. Well, Melly got a, picked up from the location they died at from a friend. Oh, wow. wow. So it, it, it is kind of messy. It's kind of messy. Oh, but the it, GPS it, it, pings and all this is proving it that it got kind of uh, it got kind of uh, tricky. But all right. Well, um, to give them the death penalty, though. You got to prove this shit cold cut. And I think the one thing that's kind of fucking it up right now, I don't think they got the gun or something like that. Well, they they recovered the weapon on them. Well, we well we uh, we will be looking at uh, this video with the seven critical pieces of evidence, you know. So, uh, or that's in this case. So, uh, before we get into it, we do want to uh, suggest that everybody please subscribe to the channels. Uh, make sure you hit the notification bell as well. Um, I, I'm not sure what this video came from. Law and Crime Network. Oh, no. so, so make sure you it, if you into that type of stuff, tell me, rock with them. They be uh, doing live streams and shit of the actual trials. If you want to get that deep, I'm not sitting there watching them do seven hours of the trial. Yeah, no, but there's people who be into that. Yeah, I know, I know that, that you want to see the details, you know, play by play. They do uh, provide you that. Yeah, so so make sure that you go over to, you know, um, this go over to their channel, support them. Uh, me and Savage, we're going to jump into this so we can uh, see exactly what this is about. And then uh, we'll talk a little bit about what's happening in the video. So let's let's do that. What is that? Um, spookies. Okay. Moving over to the right of photo marker number five. What is that? A spent casing. Did you collect both of those two spent casings? That is correct. From bloody clothing to spent shell casings, we're taking a closer look at the seven most crucial pieces of evidence in the YMW Melly double murder case and what it means for both sides. Welcome to Sidebar presented by Long Crime. I'm Sierra Gillespie. So for the state of Florida, it's a case nearly five years in the making with Jamel Demons, better known as YMW Melly, now charged with two counts of first degree murder. His co-defendant, 22-year-old Cortland Henry, otherwise known as YNW Bortland, faces the same charges. Demons and Henry are charged with killing their friends and co-members of their YNW collective. 19-year-old Christopher Thomas, also known as YNW Juvie, and 21-year-old Anthony Williams, who went by YNW Sack Chaser. 
According to prosecutors, Henry pulled up to a Miramar, Florida hospital on October 26, 2018, saying Thomas and Williams were bleeding out in his vehicle. He alleged it was a drive-by shooting, but when officials reached the vehicle, Thomas and Williams were already dead with gunshot wounds to their heads and torsos. Investigators later found surveillance video of both victims, Henry and Demons, at a recording studio before the shooting. Detectives say blood spatter evidence and cell phone data prove all four were together the night of the murders. Demons was then arrested in February 2019. Only a few days into the trial and we're already seeing some key pieces of evidence for the state's case. Jurors have already gotten an inside look into the vehicle where Thomas and Williams were allegedly shot. What are we looking at in here? I'm going to zoom in here to the hood area. Oh, that is another piece of evidence tape used to seal the vehicle um, in the same way that we sealed the premises prior to a search warrant. The vehicle and all of its entries are sealed prior to the search warrant being executed. So, for example, now looking at the screen down here at the bottom of the passenger side doors. That red item, is that the same evidence tape we've been looking at? Yes, it is. Tens of thousands of customers wrote about Carvana being fast in their five-star reviews, including Sheena. This the evidence went into greater detail as jurors were shown the back seat of that vehicle. The evidence appeared to show blood stains covering the seats and the center console. What are we looking at? This is the rear passenger side seat as well as the rear, rear center console in cup holders and partial of the rear driver's side seat. This area in the center with the two sprite cans, is that how you found it in the down position? Yes. As to photo marker number 10, did you collect the two sprite cans that were there? Yes, I did. Going on to the rear of the vehicle, photo markers 12, 13, and 14. Did you collect the various items listed in this photo? Yes, I did. Did you have help and assistance in processing this vehicle? Yes, I did. Who helped you? Uh, crime scene uh, technician, Tara Carroll. Did you guys have a plan of attack as to how to process the vehicle? We split up the vehicle into certain sections process those areas of the vehicle and collected the items that were in relation to those areas. So it's clear uh, to the ladies and gentlemen of the jury, what section were you assigned? I was assigned to the driver's side of the vehicle. In terms of these photographs, they were all taken by you. Is that a correct statement? Correct. Moving on to item number 18 and 17. Did you collect those two? Yes, I did. 19 and 20 as shown here. Did you collect those? Yes, I did. But it wasn't just blood in the backseat of the vehicle presented as evidence. Prosecutors also pulled photos of the victim's clothing covered in blood and showing bullet holes. What's item J? Uh, a picture of the uh, jean jacket that was um, provided by medical staff of the deceased or from the deceased. With regards to this next photo of item J, there is an arrow indicating a circular area. Are you able to tell the ladies and gentlemen of the jury if that is or is not a... Yeah, let me, let me stop this for a second. I'm going to push it back just a little bit. Let's just do... We'll just do this right here. But, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm... See, I already knew and anticipated they was going that this was going to turn into like the, the angle at which the shots came from. Yeah, yeah, that's important in this case. You know, so that that that's that's what it seemed like they they can start focusing on at this point is like the 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 shot angles. But one thing I want to point out, if you was noticing from the beginning, this is a case that's five years in the making, and he has a co a co defendant. One person snitches, it's, the case is closed. They could have been done the first week if somebody said something that allowed them to, you know, come to an end. But in this situation, 
that's just what happens. Yeah, I mean, there was only one other person. You know what I mean? That, that, yeah. That line, yeah. The, the night, the night. That's started, all like, it takes, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, <laughs> that's you know, all it takes. That, you know, but we just have definitely had, more chances when you when you three, four, five, yeah, twenty eight yeah. deep. Shit, yeah. shout out to YSL. Yeah, you know, so they, so yeah, no, it's it's definitely gonna get deeper. But yeah, when it's one other person, then you know, it's just like okay, we. Yeah, I ain't, I didn't say nothing. If it so. went down like this, they obviously planned it out. You know, premeditated. Yeah, so no, that's what it, this that's was. What it the, the, the the plan from the jump, like we yeah. ain't saying shit. Yeah, basically. I yeah, mean, no. that'd be everybody playing sometimes, but yeah, yeah, that's it, another it's, conversation. <laughs> yeah, it always start off good like that. Like, <laughs> nobody telling you, know. <laughs> Until we get until we get cuffed up, you know what I mean? Yeah. Something else. But hold on, before we even go on. Yeah. Do you think this is enough to get the death penalty? Because the only other rapper that beat the death penalty in the last 50 years was Lil Boosie. And he's been supporting this case a lot, a lot. And he's been getting a little bit of backlash from uh the family of the victims and Social media a little bit, but yeah, no, I, I mean I can imagine, you know, and and my my honest answer to that is I can I can see I can honestly see a debate for both sides. That's the that's the that's the God the honest truth. I can see why you know, um, and, and I'm I'm split, you know, just within on that on that type of stuff anyway, because there's a part of me that's like, um. You know, so you personally yeah. don't know. You on yeah, both yeah. sides too. Yeah, no, I'm saying like I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be nobody's judge, but at the same time, I understand the rage that comes with you know you losing somebody and all that. So you got family members who are looking at this person that you took somebody from us. So we want you gone. You know what I mean? So I, I get. How do you me. feel about that though? You think the I, death penalty is? Uh, uh, a same penalty for actions this it, drastic is it I reasonable? I don't. You know, you know. The only reason why I would say that I don't think that is, or one of the reasons I would say one of the main reasons is. Oh no! Let's just say it's not this situation. Let's take it out of this situation. It's a serial killer murderer. He didn't killed. Yeah, no. I'm just speaking in general. People, and we yeah. all know it. Clean clay. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm I'm thinking in general, and I and I'm speaking in general, just like, um, if it, if it was any kind of case, and you uh, any serious case like this, there's always the chance that, um, that person could be innocent. You know what I mean? So let let's say that what, on some off chance that 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 these people in this case didn't do it. And I'm saying that's not the case, though. We know they did it. We didn't prove it. Is no, the no, uh, no. I'm reason? saying no. I'm saying if it if it just so happened that that wasn't the case, if there was some, that's a whole different, different question. Then I don't even care about that case. Yeah, no, but uh, or but in general, though. But in general, though, I, I'm I still would feel like like both sides have a have a party. You know that that uh, that's so just if he did then and, and I feel like and I feel like. It's one of those things like it, you you would have to be in the moment to really judge. Cause I can I can I'm saying, hold on. You was there, witness everybody saying it, testified on camera. We know he did it. It's proven. Do you think the oh, death penalty is the it, right it, it thing is, to do in that situation? We got it, eight different cameras that seen it. It was three people that they all got on the stand testified. I mean, you 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 really put me on the spot because I I never thought of myself as a pro death penalty person. Because I've been thinking about this with this case going on. That's why I really wanted to watch this yeah, no, one and get that, your opinion on it. Yeah, no, that's deep. That's deep because I really I like I said it like if 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 I think about the emotion and who likes like the, the Lord forbid if it was somebody that I was close to that um became a victim or something like this like. I don't know what the rage behind that would make me want to do. Right. You know, so, so yeah, no, I, I like, I would feel the, like, I may feel like, man, fuck that dude. 
or, or fuck that person and let them burn, let them cook them. You know what I mean? But yeah, no, it's 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 a tricky thing with me. You know what I mean? Because I I don't want to be. I don't believe that man should be the judge. But on in this system, though, even in the in some of the books, you know, it says that in this system, man has to take that fall. So I get. It. All right, I guess I had to settle for that answer. You still danced around. It so <laughs> did, did a little dance. Did a little, no, I did, I, did a little dance. To, but. I'm trying to be real because, <laughs> like, I could I could say one thing right now and feel another way if I'm actually in it, and I know that's how it be. Like, I could be. I don't like, agree. I'll just flat out say it. I don't agree. I don't care if you can prove I did it. The point of this. The so-called point of this system is rehabilitation. They say that all the time, right? No, oh, but we know that. How that's can you re rehabilitate death? Like, it's oh, I don't care if I kill ten thousand people. This the point of this system. Yeah, like, that, if that's, that's the that's case, that. don't even make me fight. Kill me right there. As soon as you get, like that, don't make sense to me. See that now, now. See that now, now. Now see you living in a uh, the world of if everything was fair. That that but, yeah but, yeah because yeah, yeah, we. Now we saying like if the system was working how it, it's supposed to work, then yes, we are supposed to be re rehabilitating people. But the reality is, we not that that the system does not rehabilitate people. You actually create better criminals when you go to jail. That's the reality. Right. Yeah, that's the reality. you know. So so yeah, no, they uh, we we know how this system works, and we could we we could wish and theorize about like what's supposed to happen and what the system is supposed to be and what it's supposed to do for people, but it's not going to do that. It's just not. And just because it got that factor in there, like you said, it could be that one instance that somebody didn't do it and they get it. That's why I wouldn't, because I would, only way I would support it if it had like certain stipulations on it, like kids and the amount of of bodies and like I it it be had to be like so specific for right. me to ever say yeah that's the right thing to do, yeah. but I know the system so janky even if it's, it'll never work like that like you said it had to be in the perfect fair world which just yeah. don't exist yeah. no, when you got not. man judging and you know no we not we the not. the higher powers having the real poor yeah. Yeah, no, we gonna we gonna and money them. having the real bullshit. Oh God, yeah, no, they, they, at the end of the day, these jails, too many factors. Oh Jesus, that's it. We we could die. We could die because oh, this is gonna be. We might have to do a two parter for this one. This is gonna be one. This is one of them. Yeah, <laughs> no, I know. We, we, let's see. Let's see. Oh, did I? I didn't even. Ladies, gentlemen, what section were you assigned? I was assigned to the driver's side of the people. In terms of these photographs, they were all taken by you. Is that a correct statement? Correct. Moving on to item number 18 and 17. Did you collect those two? Yes, I did. Okay. 19 and 20 as shown here. Did you collect those? Yes, I did. But it wasn't just blood in the backseat of the vehicle presented as evidence. Prosecutors also pulled photos of the victim's clothing covered in blood and showing bullet holes. What's item J? Uh, a picture of the uh, jean jacket that was um, provided by medical staff of the deceased or from the deceased. With regards to this next photo of item J, there is an arrow indicating a circular area. Are you able to tell the ladies and gentlemen of the jury if that is or is not a distressed portion of the jacket or is some sort of bullet defect? Um, it, based on my experience and training, um, it appears to be uh, something similar to uh, a bullet hole. Okay. With regards to the arrows, is that where you're putting those on there? That is correct. Is it though? Moving on to the back no, of item day. That didn't look that like no. When you collected it. That is correct. Based on your experience as a crime scene investigator, does the appearance of blood change over time as it's stored in evidence? That is correct. That's still the same jacket that we have in evidence? That is correct. Aside from the gruesome, bloody photos displayed to the jury, the state also called witnesses oh, no. to testify about the alleged location of the shooting. 
Here's Morgan Curry describing what was seen in those photos. I'm making this quick video because it has been one month since joining the Cashflow 101 system. And so, so I'm gonna go back to item number one, back on the south side. Can you describe what we're looking at in this photo here with photo marker number one? Yes. Um, so uh, the shell casing, spent casing, that is it. Okay. That's that particular item? That is correct. Was this item collected? Yes, it was. Why do you take multiple photographs from different angles of these items? Um, just to get an overall depiction of the specific item and then also accounting um, for lighting or um, better visibility of the item. And the glass appearing object underneath the casing, did you collect any of that specific glass right there? I do not believe you did. Why not? Um, I think um, after uh, discussing with the investigators, um, did not. I uh, believe that it was in reference or pertaining to the case item. Yeah. Did it have any characteristics of auto glass? Objection beyond the scope if she knows. of her expertise. Thank you. First, establish that she may know something about this. Okay. So, Investigator Curry, in part of your training in crime scene, is it determining what evidence may be something that would be flat? Yes, it is in terms of the facts of the case. Is that something that you're familiar with and you familiarize yourself with to know what types of evidence may exist? Correct. For glass and glassware, do you have any training in identifying potential sources of glass or other items that may be of evidence you're done? Yes, I do. With regards to the glass in the Jeep that was found at the hospital, have you had the opportunity to view that Jeep prior to November 21st of 2018? Yes, I have. The glass that was in the Jeep, was that consistent with the glass that is there in this photo marker number one? No, it was not. Moving no. on to photo. This is crazy long, but um, that's what I noticed. That's not the same glass. Yeah, no, and it was it was interesting that. Um, and she that, and when she asked why she didn't collect it, I'm thinking the same thing. Why the hell didn't you get that? Yeah, yeah. No, I I mean I would and think the, that maybe some some type of uh DNA would 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 have, you know, would have hit the glass. That too, possibly. You know, but I don't know. I don't know. You know, but uh, because if we, they're trying to prove that they shot up the vehicle themselves, then it's possible that glass could. You know, pop break and hit them, uh, like you said. Yeah, but yeah. I don't. The fact that it's inconsistent glass and they don't have it, that's I don't. That's like a, it's a, I don't know. Like yeah. you said, that's that's one of them factors in the story that could be the difference of somebody that didn't do it getting it. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, I'm not a forensics person, so you know, I don't know if maybe if you have so much. DNA or why you wouldn't collect that part of the evidence or why you wouldn't consider that part of the evidence in all that stuff. So I, I don't know. But, um, yeah, no, it's, yeah, I, I mean, there's parts of this that sound a little bit like uh, just a little bit, but I mean, overall. Yeah, that, that, that's what I'm saying. For the death penalty, some of this evidence is looking kind of absurd. Yeah, no, and, and you want to make sure that. If this is the main evidence, that's yeah. like. No, no they, weapon. So how can we give something like that? That's that's insane to me. Yeah, no, and, and it go back. It go back to what I was saying of being on that half of the side of like there's people's lives who end up getting getting taken, and then we end up like a little piece of evidence was found, and oh wait a minute, man, you know what I mean? Like we messed up, but yeah. that person gone. You know what I mean? So it's it's crazy. It's crazy, but we, we can keep it going. Photo markers, and so for this is the establishing shot for which four photo markers? Uh, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. Going to the close up of photo marker number four. What was the important item of evidence in this photo? A uh, spit case. Okay. There's a scale on each photo marker. Why is that? Uh, so, um, 
were able to document uh, the size um, of the specific item on the picture or that were photographed. And are all of these items later on collected? Yes, they are. Going on to photo marker number five. I'm going to start with the item to the left here. What is that? Um, spin casing. Okay. Moving over to the right of photo marker number five, what is that? A spent casing. Did you collect both of those two spent casings? That is correct. Okay. And in terms of another view of these two casings on number five, is that what we're looking at here? That is correct. Moving on to photo yeah. marker number six. Uh, what? Mm -hmm. I'm moving to the closer up one for photo marker number six. I'm going to start to the one to the left. What is that? A uh, spent case. Okay. Is that the same one that was next to photo marker number five? Uh, not to my knowledge, no. And to the right of uh, photo marker number six? Um, it's another spent case. After the shooting, or as the defense claims drive-by shooting took place, surveillance video shows the moment where YNW Bortland arrives at Memorial Hospital Miramar with YNW Juvie and Sack Chaser in his car. The state's witnesses testified that Juvie and Sack Chaser were already dead by the time they arrived at the hospital. First responders testified the area was sealed off and treated as a crime scene. Are you tired of dealing with subpar sound quality in your audio recordings? Meet the Chaotica Eyeball. The what are we seeing on the screen right now? So this is the sidewalk portion I was telling you about. Immediately on the bottom left corner of the screen, where you see those white dashes, that's where the cars drive through. The okay. dashes are for them to see pedestrians just walking across into the ER. Um, then there's a sidewalk portion, and these the two doors of the ER. The left door on the left side of the video is the ER the adult entrance. And the right is the pediatric entrance, but it's one big area. And then uh, in the middle is the park bench, right behind that glass is the security desk. They're sitting in the, in the middle of both of those doors. And that subject that we see in the video? That's the gentleman that the person made. Continuing to publish. Is this the where you indicated to us earlier that you had him sit down, Cortland Henry? Yes, ma'am. Now, the, you can't see the Jeep in the video frame, is that correct? Yes. Um, the video, the Jeep would be located at the bottom left, my left, of yes. the screen? Yes, yes. Okay. And I'm just stopping this just for the sake of, just because I know we have to, I'm just pushing this back a little bit, and then we can go ahead and uh, finish this thing out. Anything you want to add before we uh, tap back in? I don't know, bro. I'm trying to see where they're going because it's looking, it's looking like, looking like. Well, well, we'll we'll go ahead and see where where it ends up uh, at the end of the day. So let's do that. Right behind that glass is security desk. I'm sitting in the, in the middle of both of those doors. And that subject that we see in the video. That's the gentleman that the person made. Continuing to publish. Is this the where you indicated to us earlier that you had him sit down, Cortland Henry? Yes, ma'am. Now, the, you can't see the Jeep in the video frame, is that correct? Yes. Um, the video, the Jeep would be located at the bottom left, my left, of the yes. screen? Yes, yes. Okay. And I noticed that you approached and you were talking into something. What was that? That's the, my patrol radio. Okay. Was that your, uh, how you were able to request assistance? Yes, ma'am. And it's additional surveillance video that puts Melly with both victims ahead of the shooting. But jurors also heard ballistic testimony from crime scene investigators who gave a visual representation of how the bullets traveled in the vehicle. As you were saying, explain to the ladies and gentlemen of the jury, what are these green, red items that are now in the back seat of the Jeep? These are culture directory rods. And like I said, they are used to show the constant path of the projectile when it struck the surface. Okay. How many trajectory rods are in this photo that we're looking at here? There are seven. Going forward to the next photograph, what are we looking at here? This is the opposite side of the uh, rear passenger side seat showing the 
Chair Rod's comment. Objection. Same objection? Yes, sir. Overruled. Again, showing what? Showing the trajectory rods coming through the back of the rear passenger seat and through to the front of the rear passenger seat. And can you explain to the ladies and gentlemen of the jury how you place them? The trajectory rods are placed through the through one defect, pass through the object, and then through the other defect on the opposite side. YNW Melly's trial is just getting started, and the prosecution has already presented some pretty significant evidence. But will this be enough for the jury to find Melly guilty beyond a reasonable doubt? And how will Melly's defense argue this evidence? That's all we have for you on Sidebar. Thanks so much for joining us. Please subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, or wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Sierra Gillespie. We'll see you next time. Thank you, Roscoe. What you think, am I? Man, um, let me get that big right here on my quick way. We put this back so we don't have that on the screen like that. But uh, this is this is uh this is a um, I mean it's a it's a wild case from the get go. I I just don't I me I'm just trying to figure out the why in my head. Like why does this happen? Or why did it happen? You know right. what? What led to them saying, um, we're going to shoot up our friends and make it look like you know, somebody else did it. But, um, they, they, and th this is why the criminal, if you're going to be, if you're going to do something, do it the right way, is what I always told anybody. And yeah. that, that, that includes being a criminal. Like, if you're going to be a criminal, be a, be a smart man. You know what I mean? So you have to be, if you're planning on staying out, I don't know why you wouldn't be thinking of just everything, but maybe that's just my mind, and that's why I probably shouldn't have never been because I was too smart. <laughs> <laughs> I was like trying to like I could figure a way out, you know what I mean? But no, um, this just I definitely not. think this the biggest piece of evidence, but uh, I don't know, like it's a lot of missing pieces to this puzzle to just jump to the death penalty off the rip. I think it's it's not enough for that penalty, but I definitely think it's enough to say they probably did. Yeah, if yeah. you ask me, I know I know that we don't got a lot a lot of time left. We got a little over a minute. Um, I just want to say that me and Savage, we're gonna conclude this. But before we do, uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit the uh, notification bell, share button, playlist option. You'll find this on um. Uh, what 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 will it be? Entertainment reactions is the only place that where I will put some like this, but that's where you'll find it on my page, Savage. Tell them where you. Can my page it. it'll be a uh, must see videos. So oh, yeah, that's cool, it. cool. And um, we don't have enough time to run through all of the, you know, cash out, PayPal stuff. You see it on the screen. Down it's on the there. screen. Show some love. You know, and the you know, of course, the uh, super thanks option as well is uh, is available on both pages, but. We gonna leave. We will see y'all again. So say, say bye to the people. You already know. We'll catch y'all. Peace. Peace.